Some stunning developments revealed about autism in America today. At the same time, we're learning the disorder is impacting more kids than ever before. We're also learning it may start during pregnancy. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here now with more on this. Dr. Max? Well, Christine and Dick, autism is now thought to affect roughly 1.2 million children and teens in the U.S., a huge increase. But that includes all kids on what's called the autism spectrum, a very wide range of disease severity. What has researchers excited is the new finding that brain changes in autism begin even before birth. Hi, buddy. 11-year-old Aiden Burke has autism. That little boy has to get up every day and learn to live and adapt in this world, and it's so incredibly hard for him with all his issues. New figures from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention now show one in 68 children have an autism spectrum disorder in the U.S. That's about a 30% increase from two years ago. Part of the increase in prevalence is due to better detection of autism. However, we still feel that we're underestimating the prevalence of autism in the U.S. The report also highlights autism is almost five times more common among boys and girls. And while the disorder can be diagnosed as early as age two, most children aren't diagnosed until age four. Now a study in the New England Journal of Medicine finds that changes in the brains of autistic children actually begin in the womb with brain cells. We know that there are places in the brain where cells are supposed to be and they are not. Um, the, the, it's like the pathways are not able to form in the proper way. Um, we've been doing research at NYU that shows that there's a problem in connectivity of the brain. So that means that social centers and language centers and cognitive centers aren't talking to each other in the way that they need to. In normal fetuses, brain cells develop and migrate into specific layers. This study found that in the second trimester, some of the brain cells in autistic kids did not go where they were supposed to, which prevents the proper connections from forming. The Berks are hoping this research and the new figures from the CDC will lead to more awareness, resources, and research for families affected by autism. Now, according to the CDC report, Alabama has the lowest prevalence of autism, while New Jersey has the highest. But the disparity could be due to different reporting methods, as well as the fact that states like New Jersey provide more services for autism, and affected families often move to those areas.